Vincent Tolman was a man on a mission, a mission to reshape his life, starting with his weight. He had always struggled with his weight, affecting his self-esteem and health. Determined to change, he tried a new weight loss supplement promising dramatic results. Little did he know this decision would lead him to the brink of death. Vincent followed the instructions, eager for transformation. He popped the pills, unaware of the dangerous chemicals. Within days, Vincent experienced alarming side effects. His heart raced, his body trembled, and his mind fogged. His body finally gave in, collapsing in his apartment. He was rushed to the hospital, his life hanging in the balance. At the hospital, doctors fought frantically to save Vincent's life. His organs, ravaged by the toxic concoction, struggled to perform their vital functions. The weight loss supplement, once a beacon of hope, had morphed into a silent assassin. Vincent's family huddled anxiously, their faces etched with worry. The doctors prepared his loved ones for the worst. Vincent, oblivious to the chaos, found himself floating in darkness. A faint glimmer of light appeared in the distance. Intrigued, Vincent reached out towards the light. The light, now a radiant beacon, enveloped Vincent completely. He found himself standing on the precipice of a breathtaking valley, bathed in the soft glow of an ethereal sun. Lush greenery carpeted the landscape, dotted with vibrant flowers of every imaginable hue. Crystal-clear rivers meandered through the valley, their gentle currents carrying melodies that soothed his soul. The air thrummed with an unseen energy, a symphony of peace and tranquility that resonated deep within him. He felt an overwhelming sense of love, pure and unconditional, washing over him like a gentle wave. All his worries, his fears, his insecurities, simply melted away in the face of this profound sense of belonging. Standing before him was a figure of immense kindness and wisdom. His eyes, radiating warmth and understanding, seemed to peer into the depths of Vincent's soul. This was his guide, a being of pure light assigned to shepherd him through this extraordinary realm. His guide smiled warmly, his presence radiating an aura of tranquility. Welcome, Vincent, he said, his voice a soothing balm to his troubled spirit. You are safe now. You are loved. Vincent, overcome with emotion, could only nod in response, his heart too full for words. Where am I? Vincent finally whispered, his voice trembling with awe and disbelief. The guide smiled gently. You are in a place beyond your earthly comprehension, a realm where love reigns supreme. This was his introduction to heaven, a place that far surpassed even the wildest imaginings of his human mind. Vincent spent what felt like an eternity exploring this wondrous realm. Time, as he understood it, seemed to cease to exist. He soared through celestial landscapes, marveling at the intricate beauty of creation. He met with souls who had long departed the earthly plane, their wisdom and love leaving an indelible mark on his being. Throughout his journey, his guide remained a constant presence, patiently answering his questions and guiding him toward profound realizations. He learned about the interconnectedness of all things, the eternal nature of the soul, and the boundless love that permeates the universe. But it was the three key lessons, authenticity, the purpose of life and the importance of loving all beings that resonated with him most deeply. These lessons were not merely imparted through words, but experienced firsthand in the very fabric of heaven. As Vincent delved deeper into this otherworldly realm, he encountered an array of souls, each radiating a unique energy. He met those who had lived lives of quiet humility and those who had left their mark on the world in extraordinary ways. Each encounter offered a new perspective. One such encounter was with a young woman who radiated pure joy. She had lived a short life, cut short by illness. Yet, she embraced life, spreading love and kindness. Her story taught Vincent the power of a life lived with intention. Another encounter was with a wise old sage dedicated to knowledge. The sage shared insights into the universe's workings, the interconnectedness of all things, and the importance of seeking truth beyond dogma. These encounters embodied the lessons Vincent was learning. They were not mere stories, but tangible manifestations of heaven's essence. The first lesson, authenticity, resonated deeply within Vincent. He realized he had spent much of his life conforming to societal expectations at the expense of his happiness. In heaven there was no need for pretense. Every soul was accepted and celebrated for their true, authentic selves. True fulfillment came from embracing one's unique gifts and passions. He encouraged Vincent to live a life true to himself, 
Your uniqueness, the guide emphasized, is your greatest gift to the world. Vincent took this lesson to heart. The second lesson, The Purpose of Life, filled Vincent with a renewed sense of direction. He had always grappled with the question of why he was here, what his role was in the grand scheme of things. In heaven, he learned that every soul carries within it a unique purpose, a specific contribution to make to the tapestry of existence. His guide explained that life is not a random series of events, but rather a purposeful journey of growth and evolution. He encouraged Vincent to discover his own unique talents and passions and to use them to make a positive impact on the world. Your purpose, his guide revealed, lies at the intersection of your passions and the needs of the world. Vincent realized that his purpose was not about achieving some grand external goal, but rather about living each day with intention and purpose. It was about using his unique gifts and experiences to make a difference, however small, in the lives of others. He understood that true fulfillment came not from chasing after material possessions or fleeting pleasures, but from aligning his actions with his values and contributing to a greater good. Section 8. Love, the Universal Language The third lesson, The Importance of Loving All Beings, profoundly shifted Vincent's perspective. He had always considered himself a kind and compassionate person, but in heaven, he experienced a level of love that transcended anything he had ever known. It was a love that was all-encompassing, unconditional, and boundless. His guide emphasized that love is not merely an emotion, but the very fabric of the universe, the force that binds all things together. He explained that every act of kindness, every gesture of compassion, every expression of empathy, sends ripples of love throughout the universe, creating a more harmonious and compassionate world. Vincent realized that love was not about romantic relationships or familial bonds alone. It was about recognizing the divine spark within every living being and treating all with kindness, respect, and compassion. It was about extending forgiveness, letting go of judgment, and embracing the interconnectedness of all things. He understood that love was not a sign of weakness, but the ultimate source of strength and resilience. It was the key to unlocking true happiness and fulfillment, both in this life and the next. Section 9. A Transformed Perspective As his time in heaven drew to a close, Vincent felt a mix of emotions, gratitude, awe, peace, but also a tinge of sadness at the thought of leaving this blissful realm. He understood that his journey was far from over, that he had much to learn and experience back in the physical world, but he carried with him the profound lessons he had learned, lessons that would forever shape his perspective on life and death. His near-death experience had fundamentally altered his understanding of reality. He now knew, with unwavering certainty, that death was not the end, but rather a transition to a realm of unimaginable beauty and love. This realization freed him from the grip of fear, allowing him to embrace life with a renewed sense of purpose and joy. His fear of death had vanished completely, replaced by a deep sense of peace and anticipation. He knew that when his time came to leave his physical body behind, he would be welcomed back into the loving embrace of the divine, reunited with loved ones who had passed before him, and continue his journey of growth and evolution in the ethereal realms. Section 10. No Fear in Farewell Upon his return to the physical world, Vincent's life was forever changed. He approached each day with a newfound appreciation for the precious gift of life. He embraced authenticity, living in alignment with his true self and pursuing his passions with unwavering determination. He discovered his purpose in guiding others towards their own spiritual awakening, sharing the profound lessons he had learned during his extraordinary journey. He no longer feared death, but embraced it as a natural part of life's eternal cycle, a transition to a realm of infinite possibilities. His near-death experience had gifted him with a unique perspective on the human condition one that allowed him to connect with others on a deeper level and offer guidance and support on their own life journeys. Section 11. Life After Heaven Vincent's story serves as a powerful testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the transformative power of near-death experiences. It reminds us that there is more to life than meets the eye, urging us to look beyond the veil of our physical existence and embrace the infinite possibilities that lie within and beyond. 
He now dedicates his life to helping others find their own paths to inner peace and fulfillment, sharing his story and insights as a testament to the boundless love and wisdom that await us all. He embraces each day as a precious gift, living with intention, purpose, and an unwavering belief in the interconnectedness of all things. His experience serves as a beacon of hope, reminding us that even in the face of adversity, there is always light to be found, love to be shared, and life to be lived to the fullest.